By contrast, we have the anticholinergic toxidrome. So as you can imagine, when you block the parasympathetic nervous system, you're going to have unopposed sympathetic innervation. So a lot of the features of the anticholinergic toxidrome are similar to sympathomimetics. You're gonna have a fast heart rate, a high blood pressure, a rapid cardiac rhythm, and in some cases you may have tachyarrhythmias. Generally not a lot of effect on respiration, but very commonly an elevated temperature. This is actually an important feature of anticholinergic toxicity. Much like patients with uh, sympathomimetic uh, exposure, you're gonna have medriasis, so large pupils, However, this is where it gets different. So these patients lose cholinergic innervation to the skin and the mucosa, so they're gonna have dry skin, and more importantly, they're gonna have almost no secretion. So they're gonna have a dry mouth, they're gonna have no tears, they're gonna appear clinically uh, to be very dehydrated. <music>